That would ban gender affirming care in Kansas for minors is now a taking a step forward tonight. 13th's Callie Holthouse heard from lawmakers as the House voted on the measure. Yeah, David, Senate Bill 233 officially titled the Forbidding Abuse Child Transact Transitions Act would ban gender affirming care for minors, including surgical procedures, hormone therapy and social transitioning like name and pronoun changes. Senate Bill 233 passed the House Wednesday with a vote of 80 to 40 and will now make its way to the Senate. It is a good bill, it's a needed bill, and represents a Kansas common sense approach. Supporters say it protects kids from making permanent decisions they might regret later. I think 18, uh, I wish it was 25 years old, because that surgery cannot go back, and those are confusing years anyway. I vote for biological reality, for the inherent goodness, of our created bodies, male and female, and will fight those who with public money harm or disfigure the youth of Kansas. The gender confusion of children is one thing, the policy confusion of adults is another. Opponents say it infringes upon Kansans' right to privacy, bodily autonomy, and more. My no vote reflects my concerns about bodily autonomy, parent rights, doctor-patient relationships, and respects for personal decisions made between children parents and medical providers. One lawmaker says her own son benefit from using Lupron, a commonly used puberty blocker, and that she's speaking for other parents with her no vote. Lupron saved my son's life and is now on the table as a criminal act. Our decision was ours and it was private. As a parent, you will do anything for your child. Voting yes will deny access to medical services and totally ostracize these families. Mental health for those seeking gender affirming care is another point of concern. I find it ironic that on mental health and suicide prevention day at the Capitol, my colleagues across the aisle are determined to pass legislation that would continue to attack one of the smallest and most vulnerable demographics in the state. Governor Laura Kelly vetoed similar legislation last year, and the legislature fell short of the votes needed for an override. Kelly has already said she'll do the same for SB 233, but it's unclear if there would be enough support to override the veto this time around. We'll continue to follow.